Enter, stranger, <clears throat> and welcome to Nightmare. Today's contestant will be Edmund, because apparently he just likes to suffer. All oh, right. <coughs> now I've made my obligatory uh, 1990s TV reference. Let's get on this contract that we were going to do last time. Unfortunately, missions and clean up after missions just takes that little bit longer than I expect these days. This could go all manner of... of wrong. <clears throat> <clears throat> Enemies could be super tough clan techs that do way more damage than I will get money. Or there could be no enemies at all and I get nothing out of this mission apart from a waste of six days of my life. This whole planet could use an air conditioner. All right, it's this mission. Once again, I find myself wishing for jump jets. Moving to position. Position confirmed. Don't need to tell me twice. Um. <clears throat> Normally, I would uh, go around here and use these LOS blockers. Ordinance received. Bandits. Oh, turrets. Good to go. No shooting. All right. Receiving you. Turrets have got angles, apparently. Stand here. And pump this guy full of missiles. Nice. Ready for orders. Roger. This should finish the job. Look at that, we've got precisely enough weapons to alpha without getting hot. Roger. Come on. There we go. Turret eliminated. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Going turbo. All right. Waiting on you, Commander. <clears throat> We're just gonna have to chill out. I could put the missile bombardment on this guy, but I don't know if he would um, find that quite objectionable. I hear you. Alright. Feel free to tell me about the gun emplacements that they've got after you know I've actually already detected them. Firing everything I've got. Nice. Waiting for orders. 
Well, they've already taken their turn, so um, I'm free to just run in. Go! <clears throat> wow, you failed. You failed the Emperor. What can I do for you? The Emperor will not protect you. Don't need that many missiles. He's had his go. He's got a shot. So this is why I take him out first. What can I do for you? You betcha. You can deliver sweet laser death to my enemies. Got it. Pop. Um, sure, why not? What is this? A shredder turret. Okay, just on the off chance that it goes first, I'm just going to vigilance. <clears throat> In fact, I can just nuke the git. I copy. What's a little overheat between friends? My mech is overheating. I cannot believe that you survived that. Standing by. How dare you? Got it. <clears throat> Pop. Turret destroyed. Whoa. Trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Right, this is where we're gonna make our money. Enemy reinforcements. Commander. Commander. Oh, this is a dropship land zone. God damn it, this is where I want it to be. So I can come in and gank this guy. Two of them. <clears throat> Waiting on you, Commander. Can you actually move up here and then back down again? Depends on what these guys are as to how easy or not this is going to be. Ow! Wow, he added 50 heat! Commando. What's up, boss? Um, hmm. Oh, 
is that you are entirely too hot to do anything this turn. Too hot. It's shutting down. <coughs> Good thing I moved you, Jesus. Commander? I need to do something about Mr. Plasma here. But for the moment, just wait out the way. Waiting on you, Commander. Right, Commander. Let's try and lure these guys out into the open. What the hell? F.A. Smith Power Armor. Okay, whatever. I thought that was a little bit steeper. I didn't realize I could just walk up there. Who do we aim for? Go in turbo. Let's get the commando. I mean, not the commando. Get the panther. Nice. hit chance on this. Decent, but not dangerous. Double time. <clears throat> this will show me what this is. Oh, it's another power armor. With a plasma rifle, apparently. You know what? Why not? Let's just get rid of the little midget. Oh! <clears throat> oh! Oh! Enemy down. Yes, Commander. I guess that works. <laughs> My poor blackjack must be feeling very picked on right now. These people and their heat weapons, huh? Do you know what? I don't even want to move this guy. I just want to obliterate this commando that was kind enough as to show its back to me and stand completely still. Oh! Critical hit, commander. Jesus, I missed a lot of shots there, considering. Standing by. Aye, aye. 
All right. Do I risk cooking myself to kill this guy? Let's vigilance so I can go again. And we'll just beacon him. Stop the angle. Taking the shot. <clears throat> just so that the next shot will be we more vicious. Hi. You look like a man who would like to receive 80 damage in the back. Uh, 70 damage in the back. Going toe to toe. Ooh. That worked. Now we just force him to eject. My turn. Order. Goodbye, Commando. Locked on rear armor. Reporting critical hit. Oh, he's still here. He did not feel like that was enough to make him eject. Watch the flank. Oof. I don't know how much damage that plasma rifle can potentially do, but what can I do for you? I'm not a fan of plasma at the best of times. Got it. Keep on punching. Ooh. That's gotta be an ejection. Surely. No? Good to go. One hit's all I need. Make it happen. Nice. Critical hit. You can fry an egg in here. Got his plasma rifle. So now he has like no utility at all. Damage minimal. I've got to try and force these guys to eject because I actually need. Um. Yes, Commander. I need the salvage. <clears throat> Somehow, I've got to persuade this guy that what he wants to do is eject. <laughs> Come on, fall down. Negative damage. And eject. Okay, well he's down to one hit point. I hear ya. This guy's down to one hit point. Killing them would be easy. It's capturing them that's hard. Punch in the CT would be not death. 70 against 72. Alright. So let's punch him and just see if that's enough to make him leave. This is gonna be good. Oh, good hit. 
Come on. <laughs> I didn't want to live anyway, is what he said. Don't you mean you didn't want to die? Waiting for orders. I mean, that's why you eject, right? Because you don't want to die. Not because you don't want to live. If you don't want to live, you just carry on fighting till your mech explodes. Answers on a postcard as to why that makes sense. Um... Let's turn this power armor into bits. Eh, I'm probably going to shut down anyway. You know what? I'm going to shut down anyway, so why not? Oh, it's it's a painful win that one. Kablooey. That's a kill. Running too hot. Down. He's up. He's also got one HP. Waiting for orders. All right. Putting my weight into it. Oh, there goes his left leg. He is dead. I could have done that a lot more cleanly than I did if I didn't want salvage but I did want salvage so I had to go through the extra efforts of trying to make them eject really? I can't imagine ever deploying a power armor. Do you hate your pilots so much that you would put them in a power armor? Jesus, a flamer plus plus is not really worth good money, is it? Some fusion cores. <gasps> Double heat sinks. Those could definitely increase my capacity to actually kick ass. They're quite valuable as well. Alright, whatever else I get is basically money. Oh, nice! Look at all these bits we got. I mean, they're only worth 10 grand each, but still. Oh, it pleases me. <clears throat> Both the blackjack and the um, hunchback can really, really, truly benefit from uh, the cooling powers of the double heatsink. Forty grand of repairs, that's not bad at all. This is the only mission I could potentially do and it's a defend base. And I am not a fan of defend base. Standing by. It almost looks like one day Decker might level up, if I don't dismiss him, which I probably will because he's expensive.
Um. Go through my usual thing of selling the engines that I've picked up. Oh, apparently I picked up another one somewhere. Sweet. 25 grand each for double heat sinks. <clears throat> All oh, right. Um We also have a great deal of bits. If you can afford to hold on to the bits and actually complete the mechs, then you get the money and you might actually get some equipment off of the completed mech. So, I'm just going to hang on to them for now. We gotta get off this planet. Now there was a planet that was only ten days journey away, right? Okay, this one's eleven days journey and it's actually lower challenge level. Shame there's no, uh, like, calculator or whatever. Oh, this is perfect. An ice world. Half a skull. By your command. All right. Stop. Can I make changes? Is it worth making changes? Making your mechs more expensive increases the global difficulty level. Which means that potentially you don't actually want to fit all the best stuff that you possibly can. But those double heat sinks are very, very powerful. <clears throat> I think I won't for now. Maybe at least wait until the contracts are generated. Good jump. All right. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. <clears throat> Some of my money's disappeared, and I know why. Hiring hall. Okay. Well, that one's not worth taking. <clears throat> so, um, Commander. A lot of your starting pilots are uh, thieves. Now you just constantly steal money from you. Waiting for orders. This is kind of why I want to get rid of them. Ready for orders. It's not just their costs. It's like everyone is a thief in Rogue Tech. Everyone. <laughs> but with only one uh, potential hire per planet. Not really much I can do about that. <clears throat> oh, 
All oh, right, let's go through the pain of loading the contracts. Lag. And I, my PC is pretty powerful so I can't imagine what this is like for a lot of you guys that aren't running like high-end computers all right so we've got a recovery this will be good for equipment trap sprung which won't be good for neither money nor equipment but hey, it's a polar battle. A one and a half skull capture base for huge money. That's definitely worth doing. An escort has some potential. And this is another battle that looks like um, let's go with this one it's a straight up battle and usually what happens is the enemies are severely severely damaged and then depending on how much abuse we take we can then switch into one of these many other missions but this looks like a good line of missions here Who knows, maybe one day I'll have enough money to uh, <coughs> start getting priority, um, not priority missions, um, VR pods. I'm pretty sure that the enhanced uh, VR um, pods on the Argo might help me get my characters at least off of level 3. It's funny because he says, oh, this could be excellent salvage opportunities, and the game knows that the enemies will be higher level and damaged, which means it's good for capture. But uh, I don't want to salvage. I won't make money on two salvage. I'm better off hammering lower level missions that offer four or five priority picks. All right. Not an ideal map. This is all very open terrain. On my way. Move order received. All right. Don't need to tell me twice. Will they come to me eventually or will they just sit there? Confirmed. <clears throat> okay. Bait them. We've got company. There we go. Move 
Moving to position. Got it. All right, let's rumble. I got bills to pay. Okay, a crippled vindicator. Easy. What can I do for you? See how Edmund launches big Russian missiles. An enemy vindicator, he ducks and he covers. Duck! Cover! Oh, bro! <laughs> Receiving you. Hi there. What are the odds to hit from there? Ooh, how about from here? All oh, right, seventy percent on the pulse. We'll just switch off some of the medium lasers until we have a better shot. I copy. Oh, nice hit! Scored a critical hit. Receiving you. Roger. A little bit of machine gun harassment, he might actually eject. On it. That hit something good. Is that a heavy? Don't worry. The hunchback is in the forest with three evasion tokens and an anti-missile system, so uh damage on that, that was not gonna do anything. <laughs> Waiting on you, Commander. Finish him! Ooh, 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 ooh. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like How it. are you still alive? Come on. Ready for orders. Keep on sprinting. Acknowledged. Let's sort of put the boot in. Let's kill the pulse just to save heat for now. Come on. Oh man, he is still here. Yen Lo Wang. What? Okay. Commander. Whatever that is. La Wang, soak you good. Double time. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Any hit will kill him. Should do. Rear armor. In. Oh. Enemy down. Nasty. Oh, he actually got some good hits there. Jesus. What is that? Like a catapult? Um. You're gonna have to be the bait, my friend. Copy that. Alright, what is it? 
Oh, it's a Jaeger. The dreaded missile Jaeger. Maybe I can rip one of his stupid arms off. Firing a full salvo. Come on, go for the hunchback. Three evasion tokens, forest and vigilance. I hear you. Oh, sweet! Look at this shot. Got it. Missiles away. Commander. Remember, we're here for the sea bills, so all we want to do is kill and kill again. Nice. <clears throat> Ow. Jesus, he can certainly land those LRMs. This may potentially cause me to shut down. However, a good connection should see a lot of this guy's weapons disappear. Taking the shot. Nice. Oh, beautiful. One left turn. Goal. Oh <laughs> what can I do for you? Can I get a good shot on the Jaeger? Nah, he is rather readily facing me. Uh -huh. Nice. Not bad. Yes, Commander. Everything's running hot. I don't fancy risking an ammo explosion, so... I'm just going to beacon this guy this turn. Just to let him know I'm here. In case you're wondering why I do these little attacks and it's like, just to let him know I'm here. Oh, ow! Jesus, that hurt. Um, Internal structure damage. It's to keep the guy's morale down. Waiting on you, Commander. I can't believe you just showed your back to my missile boat, though. Affirmative. There's more where that came from. Waiting for orders. Hi. On my way. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior? On Billions of lasers to the back. Oh. That hit something good. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. Wow, we even over over the. Uh, Commander. We even managed to do the shutdown override for that. Acknowledged. Goodbye, Jaeger mech. Machine gun funeral. Target lock on enemies. 
the donk. Mission successful. If it wasn't for that last little attack, we would have done that almost perfectly. That mission is a little bit like Letter of Mark in that it always features very weak enemies and the bigger enemies are easier to hit, so... I'm sure that some of this stuff was probably worth a lot of good money, but uh... I just like the easy go in there kill them all, take no prisoners, and um, collect a payday. Can't take salvage all the time, like in a normal campaign, because you just can't make enough money. Unless you get lucky. And you definitely won't make enough money on a um, on a 2-2 mission. Well, would you look at that. That's almost perfect alignment for uh, hitting out another mission. I have half a million sea bills. Woohoo! I could work on continuing to upgrade the Argo. Upgrades that reduce monthly expenses, which none of these do. This is actually not worth having yet, because um, it only adds 20,000 DXP, the level 1 one, and um, that's nothing, basically, on this difficulty level. Okay, so this requires improved power conduits, so it's almost not worth it. This offers a significant cost reduction, plus morale, and uh, no real downside, apart from the fact that it costs money. Money is at a premium. Shame there wasn't any mech warriors worth taking because I would have sacked off um, Decker. I might potentially still do that. He is very pricey. Commander. Although there is apparently reduced maintenance costs for this pilot. Greetings, Commander. Come on in. So, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure how that works. All right. Well, let's get these repairs done. Okay. Let's just double check. While we have a spare slot in the work bay, that there isn't any additional damage. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay. So we have three days until the financial report, however, we have more than enough money to pay for it. And there are a number of alright contracts with which to hit. This capture base will be good money, these two potentially will be good for salvage, 
I'm not sure about scientific emergency. I may skip that one and just abandon this planet at that point. But hopefully, salvage opportunities on those two lower difficulty missions next time will result in maybe an extra mech or some nice gear and I can actually keep it without um, worrying about basically not being able to afford it. So anyway, join me next time for Nightmare Mode. We continue to see how much more we can enhance uh, the progression of my male pattern baldness. Laters!